The mystery continues surrounding the death of a young Tempe woman who was found murdered in a burning car off the freeway. That case remains unsolved. Now for the first time, Mercedes Vega's parents are speaking about this horrific crime, hoping it might get someone to come forward with some information. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney is here tonight. You were talking earlier about how difficult this interview was. You know some of those interviews that just stick with you mm. because they're so powerful and so emotional? This was one of them. It was truly one of the most emotional and intimate interviews I've ever done with two parents who had to learn their 22-year-old daughter was tortured before she was murdered back in April. They're desperate for answers. Why it happened and why no arrest has been made. She suffered and she was tortured. To do what you would do to someone, you really have no soul. It's been nearly seven months since Tom and Erica Pillsbury's world was turned upside down. Their 22-year-old daughter, Mercedes Vega, taken from them in the most heinous of ways. I believe someone was forcing her or trying to force her to do something um, that she said, no, I know she died fighting. It all began on the night of April 16th. The Pillsbury is showing us this surveillance footage of Mercedes walking into her Tempe apartment parking garage just after 9 p.m. She was on her way to meet friends. You can see when she comes out that she does not have a care in the world. She's not paying attention to her surroundings. She, She's dressed to go to Dave and Buster's. That's why Tom believes she had no idea she was in danger when she left. In the early morning hours of April 17th, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office says Mercedes Vega was found in a burning car off the I-10 near Tonopah. Now we know exactly how she died. According to the medical examiner's report True Crime Arizona obtained, Mercedes was shot in the arm, hit in the head, had bleach in her throat, and eventually died from smoke inhalation while being burned alive in that car. Her parents believe death wasn't the ultimate goal, and she paid the price for fighting back. Why would you not just shoot her in the parking garage? She was tortured. Ultimately, that if there's no other way you can say this, this, and this. Her parents say she danced at a club two nights a week, and they are working to learn if her death was tied to somebody who met her at work and if there are other victims involved. While Mercedes' ashes now sit on their fireplace across from a wall of pictures dedicated to her memory, the Pillsburys can only hope someone will speak up because seven months with no answers and no arrests is no justice at all. It's eating us alive every single day because these persons are walking around and no one's being held accountable and my daughter mattered. I love you. I will never stop. I'll never stop fighting. <laughs> Mercedes' mom and dad say they're working closely with MCSO on a silent witness reward for anyone who can come forward with information, and they'll have more on that in the coming weeks, guys. Well, when you hear about the manner in oh, which she was yeah. killed, graphic, right? And we do, Very. unfortunately, so many types of stories like this. And in a lot of those cases, you hear, because it's so graphic, they knew the person. It was yeah. out of anger and out of rage. Do they have any details? They really don't at this point. I mean, her dad does believe it was a targeted attack. They don't believe she knew she was in danger and that she would have told them if she felt like she was threatened or something was going on. So they don't think when she walked into that apartment parking garage that she knew something like that was going to happen. They do believe it was maybe something like money related or somebody owed somebody something and she got caught in the middle of that. They also believe there might be more victims. So I think there's something bigger at play here. But, but no, I don't think she knew what was going on. And that's what is so awful. And you wonder what happened from that drive from Tempe to Tonopah. That's a long time to be tortured like that. So you showed us the video of her walking into the parking garage. Yeah. Was it her car that she was found in burning? No. And Somebody so that's else's car. It's some other car. Her car actually was found abandoned at the culinary dropout in Tempe. So they don't know how her car got from point A, the apartment, mm -hmm. to culinary dropout, who drove the other car to Tonopah and then left it there burning. But or whose car it was? Or whose car it was, no. And so that's, they're trying to figure that out too. I, there's a lot of moving parts yeah. here and a lot of unknowns, but her dad told me, you know, he's like, they could have gone out just a little bit further off the road and left her body there and nobody really would have known. But this was, it was a show of a crime. They knew that this car was gonna be found on fire. One of the most popular and busiest freeways from right. here to LA. I mean, somebody was gonna find that. They found it quickly and unfortunately they just didn't get to her fast enough to where they could, could save her. That's so God, you just, you, you want them to have answers. And this is a family that cares. Yeah. yeah. Well, Brina, thank, thank you. you. Yeah.